Hello friends, welcome back to Little Misfortune episode 2 Sorry, I sneezed um. Look, a missing kid I don't like this, maybe I should go back home Bye Don't go now, Miss Fortune, I can protect you Really? Yes Alright then <laughs> Yeah, that's not good Hello. Oh, it's the girl. <gasps> From the missing poster. Ugh, smells like bull crap. Misfortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. Why are we wearing these masks? It's creepy. A unis like the Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, so she wants to go to Phantasmagoria the horror thing. I mean, sounds fun. Look, it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't. Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Okay, he hang up posters. Uh, your children. Hide your children. Hide. Hide your children. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. So, this is the monster. The shadow we saw a couple of times. Are we going to the park? Yes. Okay. Misfortune. What? Language. Ah. I mean, she is gonna write, so. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. Okay, we are at the park. It says, don't feed the birds. Ah, okay. There's a lot of sweet poetry written on the bench. Death is alive and it's eating from you. Sign Anne. Mm, interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yes, it's necessary. <laughs> yeah, listen to this one. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh look, a drawing of a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune, let's go. All right. 
Would you like to write this one? It's like a tornado. Yes. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. Michael, stop! Ah, I can't hold up anymore! <laughs> oh no, misfortune. Oh, another <laughs> one of these dolls. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. It's the second doll. Mm, <clears throat> apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Okay, if you say so. Uh, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So, I was thinking while we're walking, Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great. Just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. Hmm. <laughs> Second question, are you happy right now? Yes, I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question, do you feel loved? Yes. I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look! We arrived at the pet cemetery. Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, okay, nice. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. That shovel, okay. Right. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> it's probably not this one. Nah. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu. The first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> no, obviously not this one. No, I don't think this is the fish. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! No, definitely not. Nah, this is obviously a cat. 
It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. This could be it. Ah, uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Wait, is there more graves ahead? Oh my god, there's more graves ahead, bro. Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Okay, it's a bird. Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep looking. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Yes, Mr. Bubbles. This is like a goldfish thing. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. Oh. <gasps> Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Benjamin, give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. I can sparkle this. <laughs> when unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. I think we'll be fine. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. Yes. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry, nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay, you sound very sure. I'll trust you. I mean... I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Oh, Mr. Voice isn't with us. Probably the protection. Something's here that's protecting. Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. 
Oh, damn. I drop it. Oh. That's ironic. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Damn, Benjamin's living in luxury. Ah, oh, there you are. What are you doing, Benjamin? No, I'm not gonna use the fox repellent. <gasps> Benjamin! Oh. Maybe I should have. <laughs> What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you, that fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Let's see what's new. A local artist retires after incident. My son is missing. Bird invasion. August. Well, the zoo. You know, with the animals? I actually made a quick Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, uh, okay. Huh, how did I get to the town center? I carried you here. But how? You're just a voice in my head. <laughs> just a voice? No, I can do more than that, you know. Prove it. I don't need to prove anything to you. Whatever you say, Mr. Voice. Fine. You really want to see what I can do? Uh, wait, my shoelace. Did you see? I'm not just a voice in your head, Miss Fortune. Oh, what? Did you see? I'm sorry, I had a shoelace problem. Oh, let's just keep going then. Hi, you look familiar. What? The third, third ghost we've seen. Then, wait a minute, is that Daniela Bambini? You know this child? Yes, from school. She told our teacher to shove the homework up his butt. She's very Italian, you know. <laughs> she probably ran away from home. She will turn up soon. You think so? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Those people in the picture look so happy drinking their yields. It's like your mommy. Mommy brings me here all the time. It's really boring. Sometimes she sends me to buy cigarettes while she hugs strangers by the dumpster. Is that so? Mm-hmm.
just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? Steal it. <laughs> I'm take gonna it. take it. It's for me. Open it. All right, I'm doing it. There's just a picture inside. Really? Can I see? Mm-hmm. It must be his kid. What do you think? Sure, why not? <laughs> I knew it. I'm such a clever little lady. One time mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was the raccoon. <laughs> well, that sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. Sometimes we're just too tired to smile. Use happy face and stop pretending. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, he is following us. Run. I know who owns this store. Who is it? Casey's dad. <laughs> Who's Casey? A friend from school. Haven't seen him for a while though. children posters so many i wonder what they're missing oh don't you worry about them i'm sure they will all turn up one day you think so of course i don't know mr voice this is starting to smell mysterious there's like five or six missing children here and his child is on the, the wall too i feel kind of bad for stealing his wallet now Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. <laughs> it says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I want to take a look around. <laughs> Check this out. That street is called Dickens Road. <laughs> Got it? Dickens Road. <laughs> Dick. Misfortune. <laughs> ah. It's kind of funny, not gonna lie. Hey, hello? Why did you take me to the sky with your friends? So you know, because of you, I can make to the party. Oh, okay. I assume I can't go further. Nope. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Nah, uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. Awesome. Oh, the bus driver is so far, I think, the only one I've seen about a mask. Hmm. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. 
Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiriba do kudasuka. <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiriba do kudasuka. Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. Oh, I love cows. What does that mean? The Japanese thing. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> uh... Ew, that's a little bull crap. Real for your life, little baby cow. Uh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Wow, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without... Hey. Hmm. I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm. What does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. Pet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. No, I'm not gonna let you pet the wolf. He might bite your hand off. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Hello, can I get inside for free? Huh, I guess not. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. Okay, this is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... How to get tell a lie or break the window? Let's tell a lie. I'll tell a lie so he believes it. A lie, Miss Fortune? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I mean, that's the only way to get inside, trust me. All right, let's go. Hello, excuse me. There's one of the missing children at the bus stop. I just saw her. You may want to go and check it out. <laughs> oh, that's evil. Thank you. Yes, it worked. That's evil. Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin's cousin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. Those are Look, fat parrots. Look, very mom. <laughs> oh, what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh, Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh, dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. It says, the num num parrot. 
This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates. Natural born thieves. Founders of the Liberation Front. Huh? Mean birdie, mom. -mom. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Okay. It says, Owl Delusions. These owls normally hang near libraries, bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self-centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off a pension. <laughs> Funny bird. Oh yeah, I'm not even gonna expect this bird. Score that. I'll take the seeds because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. Out of all the birds, I wanna feed the owl. Berda, Berda. Come, Berda. Eat your food, Berda, Berda. Is your name Berda? <laughs> Berda. <laughs> Why did she throw it so aggressively? Wow, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. I mean, the wolf area is here. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Hormones? No. Hormones. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body's preparing to create life inside you. You'll get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah, so much better. Emergency glitter. I forgot that this game is like this. I could write Japanese so I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hiro. But where does a ghost live? Stop lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. Ah, look at those sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. Wait, Miss Fortune. We don't know where the wolf is. Maybe we can find a map or something. To find the wolf, you say? Yes, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. But I checked the map. Wait, Miss Fortune. Even though I do know where he is. Because we are here. There, you see? That the wolf is. Great job. Let's hurry up now. Okay, this I'm... looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Oh my. Looks like this area is closed to the public. Ah, oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, we got this. Look, the bear in 
the picture? It's sucking a popsicle. <laughs> it looks like it's strawberry flavored. Mmm, yummy. Yes, truly yes. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? No! Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen, like, all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, all right then. It just looks a lot cooler on TV. Shadow Ninja Master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I nail this one. Do I run through? No, maybe not run. Oh, I made it. Little Ninja Lady is the best. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. We're getting pretty close. Oh, I can uh, put the thingy here. This one looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> Oh, look, it fits. The path to Sonar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Us coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address. Like a ninja. Yeah, Mr. Boy should not be trusted. It's locked. I need a key for this. Yes, you do. It says, Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is red hooded little girls. That's silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. You think he's eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right! We should call the cops on him! No, we don't want to get involved with the police. Ah, uh, okay. Look, there's a note! It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can't reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. I don't think we should go in there. Hello. Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes? No? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? I'm talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Uh, all right. I'll be back, Wolf, and we'll sort this out about Benjamin. The fuck you mean get in the cage? You want me to get eaten alive, bro? Do you think there could be a key in there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja, got it. Like little lady, Miss Fortune, the ninja lady. Ninja 
lady has entered the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already. I'll find it. You'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. Okay, friends. Thank you so much for watching for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a nice comment. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have an amazing day and see the next one. Bye-bye.